Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I will show you how to fix Roblox Installer Cannot Continue Installation. But before we start, hurry up and check out our data sulfur just under this video. So let's get started. So there's a few steps that you should do here to fix this issue. So first thing that we need to do here is we need to do some things on our cookies on our browser. So go ahead, open up any browser that you have right now. So in this case, I am using Google Chrome. So in this case, I want to click on the three dotted icon at the top right here. And I want to go to settings. Now from here under settings, we need to look for cookies. So here we want to click on privacy and security. And under here, we want to click on third party cookies. Now from here, we need to do scroll down a bit, click on the option that says see all site data and permissions. And from here, you need to look for Roblox. So go to the search option at the top right. And from here, once you've done that, click on the trash can icon here. And from here, click on delete. Now, once you've done that, the next thing that we want to do is we need to access some files on Roblox. So let's go ahead and minimize this one. And from here, you need to go to your Windows search here and you want to type in RUN, which is the RUN application here. Let's go ahead and open it up. And from here, you need to type the following, which is going to be percentage local app data percentage. So in this case, go ahead and click on OK. And from here, what we need to do is we need to look for the temp folder. So press on any folder here and then press T on your keyboard. Then from here, go ahead and open up the temp folder. Now from here, press on any folder again, then press on the R option on your keyboard and look for Roblox. In this case, you need to delete this folder. So right click on it and choose the delete option. Now, once you've done that, the next thing that we want to do is you want to go back into your local folder here. And we, again, we want to type in R on our keyboard and we want to look for Roblox. So in this case, let's go ahead and search for Roblox here. So I can't see it. So let's just press on R again. And here, you, what you need to do is you need to right click on it and click on delete option again. Now, the next thing that we want to do here is we want to open up our browser again and we want to reload Roblox here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to re log in into our account. And from here, what we need to do is we need to open up any game here. Like for example, we have this game here. And from here, click on the play button that you see here. And from there, you should or you should see the installation popping up on your screen and basically install it or download the that .exe file. And once you've done that, most of the time, this would actually solve your issue when you start installing Roblox into your PC. And here, as you can see, just to give you an example, a pop-up should appear here when you click on the play button. And from here, instead of clicking on open URL, click on cancel. And from here, you see the option that says download and install Roblox. Go ahead and click on download and install and the .exe should now be downloaded on your PC. And what you need to do here is just run the .exe file and from there, just install it on your PC. Now from here on to probably solve future any problems on Roblox, there are a few things that you should do here. So locate the Roblox player here and right click on it. And from here, go to properties. Now from here, you need to go to the option that says compatibility. Now alternatively, you could go to the search option here at the bottom left. And from here, just press Roblox or just type in Roblox here and right click on it. And from here, click on open file location. From here, right click on it again and go to properties. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to go to compatibility. And from here, you need to go to uh, make sure that you enable a few settings. So in this case, you want to enable the disable full screen op optimizations here as well as the run this program as administrator. Or from here, just click on apply and click on OK, and you should no longer have any problems in using Roblox. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.